Hi everybody, today I am making, oh I'm so excited, teeny tiny pillows of sweet white confection. Oh, somebody pinch me! <laughs> If you love cocoa as much as I do, you know that the perfect topper is a teeny tiny pillow of sweet white confection, also known as, aka, marshmallows. Okay, but I'm not talking any old marshmallow. I'm talking homemade marshmallow. And before you go, oh, I'm not gonna make those. These are easy. Listen, I've tried like 37 recipes of marshmallows and the one out of butter is the only one that works. That's easy that you can make. You don't even need a candy thermometer. You are gonna love this recipe. I love this cookbook and uh, let's get started. One thing you really need is a big uh, stand mixer, okay? Because it's going to have to whip up for 10 minutes. So unless you're like, you know, Arnold and you all got pumped up, you really need a stand mixer. All right, I've got a half a cup of water in the bottom of this, and this is three envelopes of gelatin. So did you know that, you know, because gelatin is made out of um, bones, that if you're a vegetarian, you really shouldn't be eating marshmallows? Did you know that? Okay, so you sprinkle it on, kind of like it's like snow. And then you're going to make the syrup, okay? So in a, in a pot over your stove, I've got two cups of sugar. You can get the recipe below and uh, yeah, it's, it's so easy. You're just gonna go, what? That's all there is. Then you're adding a half a cup of water and a half a cup of corn syrup. I'm gonna turn on the stove. And we're gonna bring this to the boil and you don't start timing until it actually is in a rolling boil. A rolling, a rolling boil. A rolling, 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 keep them doggies rolling, boy. Oh, that was pitiful. Anyway, and then I think she calls for, she calls for a half a teaspoon of salt. I'm only putting a quarter in. Don't tell Rosie I did that. Okay. And we're just going to stir that up till it dissolves. And then when it starts to boil, I'll time it. But I want you to be able to see what it looks like. So I'm just mixing it up here together. Okay, it's starting. It's starting. So it, see how this this foam thing is going. All right, I'm gonna give it a stir and it should start to be kind of clear. Oh my gosh, see that roll? That's a rolling boil. You need to time it. I'm gonna time it on my phone for one minute and one minute only. Here we go. Okay, one minute. Okay, turn your heat off and the timer. All right, so it's now perfect. I'm gonna start pouring it into the bowl. So the gelatin is actually kind of just actually congealed. So I'm gonna break it up a little bit and then I'm going to uh, beat this, start it on, just kind of break it up a little bit. Perfect. And then on low on your stand mixer, you're going to very slowly pour this in, really carefully and really slowly. When you've got about a quarter in there, I just like to make sure that there's none left on the bottom and there isn't, it's perfect. So basically this hot sugar is uh, dissolving the gelatin again. All right, conduct. Okay, and then you're gonna turn it on high and beat it for 10 minutes, maybe 12. Here we go. Okay, 10 minutes. Ten, wow, 10 minutes have gone. Look, look at that luscious yumminess. You're going to add two tablespoons of pure, oh, not on your counter, two tablespoons of, oh, oh, what the heck. Anyway, oh my gosh, it's such, whatever. Okay, two tablespoons of pure vanilla extract and then gently beat this in, not on high, just on low again until it's well incorporated. 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 What? <laughs> and just a sidebar on the corn syrup. Uh, Rosie asked for light corn syrup, but I only had golden. So shh, don't tell her that about the salt or about the, uh, or about the corn syrup. Okay, and then as it gets incorporated, you're going to crank her up again. And now it's time for the next exciting step. 
I buttered a nine by nine uh, pan and then very quickly you scrape out this puffy magical white stuff and you bet your bottom dollar I'm going to be licking the bowl on this baby and scrape out as much as you want to. Um, it's kind of like marshmallow fluff right now and then just sort of get it into the corners really easily and kind of work quickly because it, set, it starts to set up and gets <laughs> a little bit goopier and then you're going to put on a piece of buttered do I look younger through the screen? <laughs> And then you put on the buttered saran wrap on top and then gently press it down. And here's the hardest part. You have to wait three hours or 24, okay? So yeah, anyway, I already made one. So uh, I'm just gonna get this away and get the one I got started yesterday. Right, I'll be right back. Okay, I've got everything. Oh my gosh, I left the cloth there. Okay, I'm kind of sticky. All right, so now this is the fun part. So I like to put it onto a, a baking sheet that's got a rimmed edge as opposed to a cookie sheet, which you guys all know is not got a rimmed edge. And then I sprinkle the icing sugar on the bottom like that. And then I'm going to peel off the saran wrap. And then, this is hard guys, so hang on. This might not work so well. Oh, it's working beautifully. <laughs> Oh, this is so cool. So then you're going to plop it out onto the icing sugar. It's coming. Come on, you guys. Come on, you guys. Get out of the pan. Get out of the pan. <gasps> now that's a big marshmallow. Okay. So then you're going to sprinkle it with the icing sugar again because it has to get all coated with the icing sugar for you to be able to cut it and uh, keep that on hand. Now you need a really, really sharp knife, okay? And um, so this is my regular one, but this is my, the carving knife, it might work, whatever one you got. And then I like to kind of just cut it on the pan, sort of as a sawing motion, and you just cut through like that. So you do them all in one direction first. and then twirl the pan around and do them in the other direction. Now, you can make them as teeny and tiny as you want, but you know what? I like them this big. I know that's not teeny tiny, but as far as a pillow is concerned, it's a teeny tiny pillow. Um, so you can make them as big as small as you want. You could even put them on a skinnier pan and make little tiny ones, or you can even do cutouts with them if you want to, but I just like a regular marshmallow in my, in my hot cocoa. Then, you're going to, because they're sticky on the inside, you want to do all the sides with uh, icing sugar so that they don't stick, and then you're going to store them. And now the moment of truth. I'm going to just float that into my hot cocoa. Oh my gosh. When they're all cut up and rolled around in their icing sugar, store them in either a plastic airtight container or uh, a storageable air con air, uh, airtight container. In an airtight container. Um, if you're really nice, you might give these away. I, I, I'm actually going to give these to uh, my producer, Sarah, and I'm keeping all those. And as it melts, you're going to go, oh my gosh, a teeny tiny pillow of sweet white confection in my hot cocoa. Hey, if you like the video, give me a thumbs up, leave a comment, tell your friends, subscribe, whatever. I'll see you next time on My Left Frying Pan. Wishing you all peace, love, and fiber. <laughs> Ooh. Mm. Oh my gosh, that's good. Yum.